Spider-Man is my favorite character in all of literature. Not just superheroes, I'm talking all literature. Spider-Man is one of the greatest characters ever made. It was, I think, the first time I saw myself in a superhero. It's a new kind of hero that Spider-Man presented, and that's something we're really trying to capture. He wasn't like some billionaire playboy. He wasn't an alien from another planet. He was that guy down the block. Every great Spider-Man story is also a Peter Parker story. One of the most beloved characters around the world. He is us. When you grow up, everybody feels like they're picked on. Everybody feels like no one understands them. That was Spider-Man. With Fisk behind bars, what's next? Maybe Peter Parker can have more of a life. He wants to go on that date, but oh no, there's Electro. Oh no, there's Rhino. Oh no, there's a bank robbery. And then when you understand all that, the stakes raise when he's Spider-Man and fighting these foes, because you know what's at stake, you know what he's fighting for. In the Insomniac game, we got this new Spidey and a new look. We're also in this world getting all new version of Martin Lee, who is secretly Mr. Negative. I really like Mr. Negative as a villain, especially from a story point of view, he's a very real person. Martin Lee is a benevolent entrepreneur and has homeless shelters. They're called the Feast Shelters, and Peter's Aunt May works at Feast. He's taking care of Aunt May when Peter can't, when Peter has to either be at work or be out in the city being Spider-Man. But there's something inside of him that's trying to consume him. Take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. We're really kind of poking at that idea of how some people have a dark side. The question is whether you give in to that dark side or don't. That duality means if you're taking down Mr. Negative, you're also taking down Martin Lee. When you're Spider-Man and you learn that secret, what a conundrum. Then the question is, it's like a ticking clock. How long until Martin Lee knows that I know who he is. Please, this is crazy! This isn't you! You don't know me! From a visual point of view, what's really cool about him is that he's actually got this really cool negative effect where he becomes negative. And then that is connected to his powers. He's able to bring out someone's dark side. And then he can also, in our game, he can do these blasts of his negative energy. You're gonna see, you know, swords or guns or even whips imbued with this negative power. And when it comes to Mr. Negative himself, those powers just amplified even more. Everything you care about will be destroyed. The people will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. Stop! One of the first days when we were making the game, we were all sitting around talking about how we grew up with Spider-Man, and we all realized that when we were nine years old, we all had Spider-Man underoos. Like, Spider-Man was our guy, and we never lost that love for him. Now it's fans making the game for other Spider-Man fans, and we believe in that power and responsibility. Our game is really gonna put you in the shoes of Peter. We wanna deliver on the fantasy of Spider-Man, and to do that, we have to take advantage of all his rich backstory, his supporting cast, his friends, his foes. We're gonna see characters we know and love in different ways. So this is like a whole new world for Spider-Man, and it's really cool.